Well, welcome to today's talk. It's Thursday, the 31st of August. Now, I want to bring you a study today from Israel's more independent minded studies coming out of Israel than other countries that could be mentioned. And this study shows that natural immunity after SARS coronavirus 2 is way better than vaccine induced immunity. In fact, people, what they were able to do in Israel, they were able to get two groups. One group that had uh, had the infection but not been vaccinated. Another group that had the vaccine but had not been infected. Of course, many people had had both, had had so-called hybrid immunity. But they had this group of people who had been infected but not vaccinated and vaccinated but not infected. Therefore, they could compare the two directly. And the people that had the natural infection, they found that they were 13 times less likely to get reinfected. So natural infection working 13 times better than uh, vaccine-induced immunity. The natural infection way better. And when it came to symptomatic infection, people that had had the natural infection but weren't vaccinated were 27 times less likely to get symptomatic infection compared to people that had been vaccinated but had not had the natural uh, infection. So this study in Israel is able to tease out the pure vaccine immunity, the pure natural immunity, and finding the pure natural immunity is 13 and 27 times better than the vaccine-induced immunity. As well as that, in the group that had had the uh, vaccines without the natural infection, there was eight hospitalised. And in the group that had had the natural infection without the vaccination, zero were hospitalised. So really pretty convincing. And towards the end of this video, we'll be asking some pretty serious questions about why politicians are continuously downplaying natural immunity, which is 13 times better at protecting against reinfection, 27 times better at protecting against symptomatic reinfection and essentially infinitely better at provide, preventing hospitalisation, of course. Sample was only eight to zero, but still pretty convincing. Now, this is from completely peer-reviewed journal, Clinical Infectious Diseases. Um, Let's look at it now. So, um, Oxford Academic Press, and it's uh, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, um, Coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, Natural Acquired Immunity versus Vaccine-Induced Immunity, separating out the two. Now, the background here is that we know there's waning protection after vaccine. Confirmed by two doses of Pfizer vaccine, it begins shortly after the injection. So the amount of immunity you get from Pfizer vaccine and and Moderna starts going down really quickly. Basically, as soon as you've uh, had the, more or less as soon as you've had the injection, but becoming substantial within four months. So if you have had the injection more than four months ago, any protection from that, um, is is basically becoming rapidly irrelevant. And this study is related to the Delta time period when people were getting really quite sick from the infection. Now, um, what they did, um, we examined long-term protection and natural uh, acquired immunity compared to vaccine-induced immunity. So they had these two groups. So the first group... Now, the first group was vaccine, uh, not infection. So this was vaccinated, but had not had the infection. And this first group here contained uh, 673,000 odd people. So a pretty large group. So SARS-CoV-2 infection naive, that not had the virus, individuals who received two doses of uh, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Second group... Uh, they only found 62,883 people to go in that group, but that's pretty. That's a, still a good-sized group. Get some pretty good stats out of that. And these people had the infection but had not been vaccinated. So they were the infection, not vaccinated group. Previously infected but not vaccinated. So really quite clever, really. And that gives the, the, compar- the opportunity for direct comparisons uh, between the two groups. And as we see, the group that had had the uh, infection but not vaccinated did way, way better. 
the vaccine being greatly inferior to uh, natural immunity. Now, um, SARS coronavirus 2 related outcomes, 1st of June to the 14th of August 2021, as we say, Delta variant times when this study relates to. Infection 13 times more common in the vaccinated group and uh, symptomatic disease 27 times more common in the vaccinated group. I mean, if these kind of numbers, it's not 13 or 27 percent, this is 13 times, 27 times more likely to get infected if you'd had vaccine but not infection as opposed to people that had the infection, vastly superior, vastly superior natural immunity. Slight complication though is no one gets paid for natural immunity. So of course that's probably got nothing to do with it, but uh, vaccines are expensive and natural immunity costs nothing. Let's hope that's got nothing to do with it. Um, eight hospitalizations in the vaccinated group. No, no hospitalizations in the infected group. Thankfully, no deaths in either group. Now, when the first event, now the first event is when someone had the infection or the vaccination. So the first time they were exposed to an antigen basically is described as the first event. Occurred during January and February 2021. Uh, that's uh, four to eight months time. So remember the data was looked at at this time. Uh, 2021 in the Delta Times. So four to eight months after the infection. And as we've said, that's where these figures are from. So um, four to eight months after the infection, uh, vaccine, uh, people that had the vaccines, not infected group, 13.06 fold increased risk of infection compared to the in infection, not vaccine group. So the infection, the people that had the infection and not been vaccinated, doing 13 times better. Uh, group two, remember, infection, not vaccine group, 13 times less likely to get infected. Group two, infection, not vaccinated group, again, 27 times less likely to get symptomatic infection. Huge difference. And uh, as we said, group two, infection, not vaccine, zero COVID-19 hospitalizations. Group one, who'd had the vaccines, but not the infection, eight hospitalizations. Now, what about, ha what about if there's more time has elapsed? What difference does that make? Because we know that natural immunity and vaccine immunity carry on waning. Well, the difference, the, uh, the benefits of having natural infection still are massively, massively better than any pathetic residual amount of immunity from the vaccine. So this is six to 17 months after the first event, the first event being the infection or the uh, vaccine. Now, there is evidence of waning natural acquired immunity was demonstrated, but of course also waning vaccine immunity. So the vaccine, not infected group, basically six fold increased risk for infection. So the natural immunity is still six times better, essentially, than the vaccine at protecting. And the vaccine, not the infection group, uh, seven, seven times more likely to get a symptomatic infection. So we see that people with natural immunity, basically six times less likely to get infected. People with natural immunity, seven times less likely to get symptomatic disease. Pretty convincing. Conclusion from the authors, natural acquired immunity confers stronger protection against infection and symptomatic disease caused by the Delta variant of sars cov virus 2 Is this true for the other variants? Don't know this, study doesn't tell us. It would be amazing if this wasn't true for other variants. It would be very surprising if it was so true for Delta, but not for others. Not the only study, Cleveland Clinic study here, just this is one example. Um, there are many. Um, this looked at 1,359 healthcare workers who had previously tested positive but were not vaccinated um, and uh, none, none got infected. <laughs> Quite incredible uh, in, in the time frame of the study. The study authors concluded Individuals who've had SARS coronavirus 2 infection, remember talking about healthcare workers particularly here, 
individuals who've had SARS coronavirus or infection are unlikely to benefit from COVID vaccination. And yet, President Biden, we saw a couple of days ago, saying, let's vaccinate everyone because of this new uh, terribly dangerous variant that is uh, supposedly uh, at the doorstep. Um, British government, likewise, saying all healthcare workers should be vaccinated, all healthcare and care workers should be vaccinated again. And yet, when we look at the empirical data, individuals who've had SARS coronavirus 2 infection are unlikely to benefit from COVID vaccination. Now, this is some words of wisdom here from uh, Professor Marty uh, Makari, Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, Bloomberg School of Public Health, Editor-in-Chief of MedPage Today. It's okay to have incorrect scientific hypotheses. And this applies to the early parts of the pandemic when we certainly didn't know these things. Or certainly weren't told them. Um, We had early hypotheses. And these are panned out very often to be incorrect. But uh, Professor uh, Makari goes on. But when new data proves it wrong, you have to adapt. Yeah, of course. We tried to adapt on this channel, of course. Most of you have adapted. Why haven't, why isn't Mr. Biden adapted? Why isn't the CDC adapted? Why isn't the British authorities adapted? Or not adapted very much? I couldn't possibly answer that question. Unfortunately, many elected leaders and public health officials have held on far too long to the hypothesis that natural immunity offers unreliable protection against COVID-19. We've seen that the natural immunity is 13 and 27 times better than vaccine-induced immunity. So why are political leaders hanging on to this? Question mark there, because we don't know why they're hanging on to this. A contention that is being rapidly debunked by science, so the natural immunity is better. 16 studies, again, this is Professor uh, Marty Makari. 16 studies have demonstrated the power of acquired immunity. Probably even more now. That's why, this is Professor Makari, that's why it's so frustrating that the Biden administration has repeatedly argued that immunity conferred by vaccines is preferable to immunity caused by natural infection, when in fact immunity caused by natural infection is way better than immunity such as it is generated by vaccines. And I could add his frustration, my frustration to his, about the British authorities still advising universal vaccination for health and care workers, for example. People that have been exposed to the virus probably a hundred times. But he goes on. In my clinical experience, this is Professor Makari, not me. Uh, In my clinical experience, um, I have found patients to be extremely forgiving with evolving data. If you're honest and transparent with them. Can we have honesty and transparency, please? If President Biden's watching, if my Prime Minister's watching, if the regulatory authorities are watching, can we please have complete honesty and transparency? Then we might get some trust back. The incorrect hypothesis that natural immunity is unreliable has resulted in the loss of thousands of American lives. Avoidable vaccine complications, and this is probably even this is probably even the Thing that's going to kill most people in the long run damaged credibility of public health officials i'm sorry public health officials we're struggling to believe you regardless of which side of the pond you're on and that's potentially cataclysmic probably the worst thing to come out of the pandemic the loss of trust It would be good uh, for our public health leaders to show humility. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. By acknowledging that the hypothesis they repeatedly trumpeted was not only wrong, but may be harmful. So can we have some humility, please? Officials, you know who you are in charge of these regulatory authorities. 
Don't be thinking about the job you're going to get in Big Pharma in a couple of years' time and make some mega bucks. Don't think about that. Think about humility and honesty, please. Of course, some of you won't be getting well-paid jobs in industry because some of you have come from well-paid jobs in industry. Others, of course, are simple, humble public servants. But even if you are just a humble public servant, can we see a bit more open sea transparency and humility, please? Public health officials changing their position on natural immunity after so much hostility towards the idea will go a long way to rebuilding public trust. It will be a big step in the right direction because at the moment, I'm afraid, whether you like it or not, regulatory authorities are not trusted by huge swathes of the public. And that is a tragedy. And we'll leave it there, celebrating how much better natural immunity is than vaccine-induced immunity. That's what the peer-reviewed literature says. Pity it had to come from Israel. Pity it didn't come from the United States. Pity it didn't come from the United Kingdom. Or Australia, or Canada, or New Zealand. But it came from Israeli doctors and scientists. It's almost as if our doctors and scientists aren't as free and objective as the Israeli ones. But of course, we can't possibly know that. But for now, thank you for watching.